Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm getting ready to do a page in my junk journal. So come on along. I started designing a page for a card that my sister sent me. Just a little note. And it had all these cute little birds here. And it reminded me of this paper that I got in one of my paper packs with all these cute little birds. But the colors seem to match really well. So I thought I'd use a piece of this paper for the background and put the card, which I've deconstructed, which Possum Patty loves to do. And I think I'm gonna make a pocket out of the card. And this is part of the inside of the card. And I don't know what that is. And this is a picture of my sister and me in the 1970s. She's my baby sister, and I'm wearing orange bell bottoms. Cool, huh? So I was going to put this picture on here, because orange obviously goes with this page. And then I was thinking about, this is the stamp that was on the card. Earth Day, so I wanted to save that with the date. And then I might put that in the pocket with something on the back. Oh, and these little birds are so cute. I made my own out of some scrap paper there. And I modeled it after the little birds on the card. So that's going to become part of the page too. So I'm just going to get to gluing this down. This is going to be a pocket and this is going to be a picture. And I got a little bird here to tie them together. And then I was thinking about adding some ribbon. And then I have this bow that was gifted to me green and yellow so I thought that might go in there kind of cute and I'm going to get all this glued down and then I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with this I was thinking about using this postcard but I want might want to put this postcard in a different book so I might go find something else oh and I have this bling here bling 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 and I wanted to put a couple of blings on there so I'm just going to go glue, and I'll be back in a moment to show you what I did. So I've got everything glued down. The card, the inside of the card, some yellow polka dotted ribbon, some yellow polka dotted paper, my little bird picture of me and my baby sister. She's the one who sent me the note. Some more polka dotted ribbon. I added a little bling to the bow. And I added three blings down here, because three is a magical number. And this is a pocket. When I cut these strips of bling, I kind of cut them out in a way that there's a dot in the middle and a full circle around. Because I like the way that looks. Okay, so I was working on the card for inside the pocket. And I wanted to use this Earth Day stamp that came on the card. And I put it on some scrap of paper that, um, let's see, yeah, this matches the little bird in the book. So I wanted to do that. And I went down the basement and grabbed a handful of random things to put on the back here. And this is an acrylic painting, the inside of the card some other cards that were downstairs and I just brought up some random things this one said sister I thought that would be nice but then I found see I was going to use this um, Virginia Beach postcard that she sent me back in 1977 but I had an idea for a beach theme for something else so I'm saving that and then I found this card, which I've already ripped up because I didn't have the camera on. 
and it is we are all earth's children and has a little peace thing there so there's the earth for earth day so i'm going to glue this on there kind of like that but i kind of like this one too we are all earth's children but maybe i can use this on another page so i'm not going to worry about that so what i'm going to do is glue just glue this on here and i was thinking about just making a little pull with a ribbon or something so when i put it in the pocket you could pull it out something like that so i'm going to go ahead and make this i sold a little bit of yellow ribbon on then i glued these two pieces together glue still wet add a little bling to match the page and when this dries I'm just going to stick it in the pocket like this and I think I'm going to have those little people peeking out there I think that's cute little people holding hands like the little birds on the wire I'll give this a chance to dry Okay, the other thing that I wanted to journal about today, I knew I was just looking at the scrap paper. I think it will fit on this page like that. Just trim it up a little bit. Were the fiddleheads. The ferns are popping up all over the yard. And I'm going to cut this to size, and I was trying to figure out ways to make fiddleheads. And one way was to take this pipe cleaner. I bought this package of pipe cleaners. They're now called Fuzzy Sticks from Walmart. Didn't cost very much. And then I saw this scrubby yarn. I guess you use this to make little dishcloths. But you know what? I loved it. To me, it looks like a little, a little vine or something. I'm going to be using this in my journals for decoration. Definitely not going to make a dishcloth with it. Well, I glued some on this pipe cleaner. And now I'm just running this around in a circle like the shape of a fiddlehead. And I just might glue that on the page. And journal about the fiddleheads or I bought some green felt also at Walmart and I had this yarn and I had cut a piece which is here somewhere desk is getting very full right now so where is it where is it where is it I don't know but what I did was take a piece and just run it around on the felt like this. And to me, that looks like a fiddlehead too. So I have to decide, do I want this fiddlehead or that fiddlehead? And you know what, I really like this shiny material. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Cut this to size and design some fill heads. And I really like this. We are all Earth's children. So I might put that on this page too. Which has nothing to do with fill heads, but that's okay. That's okay. And just do a little journaling, that's all. Okay, working out a little bit of a design for this page and I think what I'm going to do is make a pocket and then maybe tomorrow I'll go on a fern walk and find some different kinds of ferns in the yards and make some journaling cards and put them in the pocket. So I'm going to get this ready for tomorrow. I have the bit from the card there and this is from the back of the card. This is that scrungy, scrungy yarn that I like so much. I don't know why. And I made the ferns out of this green felt. And what I'm going to do, 
I think is use this on the fern. Make them fuzzy fiddle heads. And probably sew this on, probably sew the pocket on. Glue this. Oh, and this butterfly came with the card on the other page. But there's a story to this butterfly. It had two pieces. It had a really large pretty piece and a smaller piece. And I think the cat ran off with the larger piece. So I'm just going to glue that on there. Okay, so let's see. First step. What should I do first? I think I'm going to... Should I sew the pocket or just glue it on? Hmm. Now I think I'll sew the pocket and glue everything else. I glue down my fiddle heads. It's quite a trick to try to get this all glued down in the middle in a circle. And the tacky glue just wasn't holding. I thought it would, so I wound up putting a little fabric tack in there. I don't have much fabric tack left. So I hope that dries okay. I got my little piece dove down here. My little butterfly. Well, I'm going to glue this down to the page. And I may add some more things to this tomorrow when I do the journaling cards, but I think I'm going to give this um, a good while to dry. Well, I can't do anything else here until all this glue dries and I go get some of this crusty glue off my hands because everything's sticking to my fingers. I did add a little bit of bling to the butterfly. Right there. And a little bling at the bottom because you got to have your bling and I just want to thank everybody for coming along today and maybe tomorrow I'll make my fern children journaling cards and put them in the pocket and take a little fern walk but for now I'm just gonna say happy junk journaling bye bye now